Oh, thank God. Riley. Honey, are you okay? You're freezing. Let me take him up to the shower and warm him up. Come on. Put your clothes over there in the corner and try not to get water everywhere, okay? They don't know what happened to him. They think he might have had a seizure, but the MRI and the EEGs all come back normal. So that's it? They don't want to check and see if maybe there's something else wrong? Yeah, they want to keep him overnight for observation and to run more tests. And I said no. Why? We don't know what happened to him. Joyce, we were there for 12 hours. They couldn't find anything. He was on the street. You don't think that's a little strange? This is why we let them work. What if this happens to him again? Next time, God forbid, he could disappear for good. Or we could find him dead. No, no, no. Honey, if it were anything that bad, they wouldn't have let him leave. I'll call Dr. Bartlett in the morning and she can check him out. I don't know how you can trust her and not the hospital. She's a free thinker. That's good. Someone to dig deeper and ask questions, not just stop in the first period. Do what you want, Arthur. But I don't trust her over the hospital. Hey, buddy, how you doing in there? Riley, you're wasting water just standing there. What? Nothing. Just hurry up, okay? No, 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 not tonight. No, nope. if you really did have a seizure, we don't need anything that might start another one. You just need to get your rest, all right? We'll call the doctors in the morning and they'll make sure everything's fine, okay? a look at this week's weather the rest of the afternoon is clear for the most part staying in the 50s but we do have a system moving in overnight that will lead to some rain so temps will be dropping to the mid 30s overnight which could lead to some black ice watch out on the roads tomorrow we move back into the 60s nice warm up and we stay there for the rest of the week plenty of sun since the beginning of mankind humans have disappeared without a trace 
could it be that extraterrestrial activity is to blame? Some ancient astronaut theorists say yes. Since the beginning of recorded history, human beings have disappeared without any explanation. The most famous case, Emilia Earnhardt. Gone without a trace. And there isn't one universally accepted explanation as to what happened to her. But there is one theory that almost everyone refuses to acknowledge. Ancient astronauts. Sucks you couldn't play today. <laughs> Sucks that someone stole my crutches. Really, dude? That does suck. Oh, so what was up with that hip check? Oh, dude, the kid was arrogant. He deserved it. Hey, I'm not sympathizing. <laughs> oh, so did did you uh, ask that kid, Brad, about those tickets? Kid left before I could ask him. He's acting weird today. I don't know, man. I just don't want the tickets to go to waste. Uh, I, okay, I, I'll call him. Who calls anyone anymore? Yeah? Hey man, I tried to get your attention outside the ring today, but you ignore me. Oh, sorry about that. I just have a lot on my mind. What's up? It's my brother. Something's not right with him. Why? What's wrong with him? <sighs> well, we found him on the side of the road yesterday. Knocked out. Oh shit, is he okay? Yeah, but I don't know. It's all just really weird. Hey, I know it's kind of an awkward question, but... Me and Eric haven't actually said of the tickets to the Blizzards game. We were running if you want to go. Hell yeah, but I don't know. My family's just really worried right now. All right, just let me know. I got two of them. I need to get rid of them by tonight. All right, I'll text you later. Awesome, dude, thanks. Oh, and by the way, who calls anymore? And? Well, he said he'll let me know tonight. You know, calls are free after nine. Let's go, Lumpy. Hey there, Bradley. Hi. Hey, sweetie. How was practice? It was good. Hey, before you sit down, go wash your hands. Hey, how's Riley? He's better. He's upstairs, practicing for the parade. You see a doctor? No. Apparently she has too many patients to deal with. You can cut her some slack, you know. She has to prioritize. Riley, it's ready! Hey, um, Dad. Jesse said that he could get me some tickets to the Blizzards game tomorrow. Can we go? Yeah, I don't think so. We've got a lot going on. But, Dad, this is the game that decides who goes to the playoffs. Honey, we don't know what's going on with your brother. I really think it's best that you don't go.
But I want to go. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? Better. Are you sure? Yeah. So, what's that I heard about a game? No, oh, Jesse said that he could get us some tickets to the game tomorrow. I want to go. Riley, I don't think it's a good idea. Come on. It was just one freak accident or something. Please, Mom. Fine, you can go. Yes! Say, but I'm going to keep my eye on you. Anything happens between now and then and you're not going. I'll have to text Jesse tonight telling him that we could go. Really, Arthur? What? Really. What? He could go. He could go to the game. He's going to go to a hockey game with his brother. What's the yeah. matter with that? Right. It's There's going to be a hundred people game. there. Nothing will happen to and him. And you have a crystal oh, ball yes, there him. and that means nothing's oh, going to happen. <laughs> with you. What? what you do that for? Do what? Dad, what did I do? Dad, what did I do? Just eat. Just eat. We can get him these new hockey skates. I match the stick. Actually, he needs a new stick too because that one's kind of. You saw that, right? Yes, of course I saw that. Then what was that? I don't know, Joyce. I don't know what is going on, Joyce. I don't think you guys should go tomorrow. What am I supposed to tell them? We can't go see the game because I thought I saw you throw your food There's on the floor. There's something going on. The three of us saw him do something that he didn't do. How can we all be mistaken? I can't deal with this right now.
Bruh. He went to get a drink. Didn't you see him? No. Where did everybody go? Where's Brad? Stop looking at me like that. What's going on? You need to go back. You embarrass me in front of my whole damn team. <sighs> you stupid idiot. I knew I should have just left you at home. Seriously, Riley. Why? I don't know. I can't handle it. Handle what? The noise. What noise? And the pain. It's like a knife in the back of my neck. I wanted to go away. And where were you? You weren't even there and you don't even give a shit. I went to get a drink. And it's not like I left you alone. I left you with what? Eric and Jesse? There was no one there. It was empty. I don't even think the person that I saw was actually Jesse. I'm sorry I called you an idiot. But I still do think that there's definitely something wrong with you. Oh. I didn't mean it like that. We lost.
honey. You okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Do I look unsure? I guess not. Is there anything to eat? I'm going out for groceries right now. Do you want to talk about what happened last night? Not really. Okay. I'll be back. Do you want anything from the store? Uh, waffles. Okay. What did you forget? Nothing. I got everything. Wait, how'd you get here so fast? Riley, I've been gone for almost two hours. What? That's it's impossible. Honey, are you okay? Yeah. I probably just fell asleep. Mom? Yeah? Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Do you ever get these dreams that feel so real? What do you mean? The dreams I have, they feel so real, like physically real. And when I wake up, I can't move. It's like something's holding me down. I used to, when I was younger. My parents brought me to a shrink and they determined it was just because I was stressed out which is probably happening to you because of the parade coming up. Maybe. But you're not gonna bring me to a shrink, right? Go rest. Honey, I know your hip-hop group has been practicing for the Halloween parade tonight, but I really don't think you should go. But, Mom, it's the parade. I can't miss the parade. It's my favorite thing all year. And plus, my hip-hop team would be really mad if I don't go. Sweetie, they will understand. I've already talked to your teachers. I told them you were feeling well. They said it's not a problem, and they look forward to seeing you back when you're feeling better. Mom, I'm going to the parade. And I also want you to stop acting like I'm sick when I'm not. Okay, we will go, but on one condition. If you start feeling at all strange, we are leaving right away. Deal.
Riley? Riley! Riley, stop! You're going to choke! What is the matter with you? Samantha, and um, I'm just psychic up the street, and I know you don't know me, I know this sounds so weird. I noticed your son back there in the parade, and he's in distress, and I think I can help him. Thank you, but we have to go home now. You know, here, you know what, just take my business card. Here, take this and call me. Thank you. Call me. really burn. You're going to make it worse. Just stop scratching. Pass them up. Now remember, these are going to be given back to you. So any correct answers you have, you can use them on a cheat sheet. Hey. Hey, Riley. Hey, fart knocker. Give me your paper. Never mind. I'm Mr. Pillow. What was the name of that book you said to pick up? Oh, thanks, Terry. Thanks, Terry. Burnt toast and oranges. I need every one of you to pick up this book at the library. I ordered enough copies so everyone can have one. I went to get it already, and she doesn't have it yet. Well, they probably don't have it in yet. You have to go Christmas vacation to read the book and to turn me in your analysis. Thanks, Carrie. Yeah, Carrie. Yeah, Carrie. Riley, turn in your paper. Riley, are you okay?
Stop it. 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 Hello, Riley. I heard you didn't have a good night. Maybe I'm understating that. Can you tell me what happened? Honey, please, just tell her what's been going on. She's only trying to help. Maybe he can't talk because of all the screaming he's been doing. He hasn't said anything all morning. How bad was it? Pretty bad. I couldn't get him to stop. Was it just screaming or was it verbal? Yeah, he kept on saying, stop it, and kept on covering his ears. Can you open your mouth for me? Well, I don't think that's the reason he hasn't said anything. Oh, and when I tried to calm him down, he pushed me with his legs and I flew across the room. Bradley, please. Dad, why would I lie about something like that? Listen to yourself. How could he physically do that to you? There are times when humans express a great deal of strength under fight or flight, a state of mind when an individual is in a life-threatening situation. If what you're saying is true, he may have been in that state. But the question now is why? Thank you for coming out. I'm sorry I wasn't able to pinpoint what's going on. Yeah, well, I hope somebody finds out something soon. You know, this wasn't his first episode. It's, it's the worst one he's had so far, though. Mr. McDowell, I shouldn't be telling you this, but Riley's not alone. What do you mean? He's not the first patient I've seen this way. Just the other day, I received a call from a woman whose husband was acting the exact same way. And there was another patient about a week ago. Well, how are they doing? Well, as far as I know, he's not improving. And the other committed suicide. Look, I'm not telling you this to alarm you. There are other doctors facing the exact same issues with their patients. What do you mean? I'm going to go back to my office and I'm going to do the very best I can to figure out what's going on here. It's happening here as well. How do we proceed? Okay.
Riley? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I'm fine. Yeah, well, you haven't been acting it. What's been wrong with you? You're worrying everyone. I Isn't said it? I'm fine. Dude, that's a load of bullshit. One minute you're perfectly fine, the next minute you're freaking out. Happened at dinner, happened at the game, even happened last night. I'm scared, Bradley. No, yeah, well, me too, but you don't see me freaking out about it. I don't know what I'm doing. You guys keep saying I'm doing something and I'm not doing anything at all. I'm serious. I just hear this noise. It hurts to know my family doesn't even believe me. Bro, that's not at all. Honestly, even though you don't remember doing all this, you're still doing it. We see it. Then what happened in the kitchen? I don't even know what's real anymore. <laughs> Riley, stop it. I can't. It's itchy. It's almost like I'm not even getting at it. Stop it. Honey, you're bleeding. How long have you been scratching? For a while. Go wash it and put a band-aid on it before it gets infected. Okay. Okay, thank you, doctor. I'll discuss it with my wife. We'll, we'll get back to you. Okay, bye. So what's going on? They want to bring him in for psych psychiatric evaluations for a few weeks. Oh, God. You don't think that... No, 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 no. Don't, don't look at it that way. What's going on with him, it's... It's hard to explain. You didn't tell them about yesterday, did you? No. Mr. McDowell, Dr. Silver. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, please, proceed. Sorry to have to meet in here. I was expecting your wife to join us as well, and my office can get a little cramped. She's helping our oldest son get ready for a hockey tournament in Camden tomorrow. Oh boy, that's a hike. Huh. Okay. So, Riley McDowell, age 13. So during his time here, we ran several tests, both mental and physical, and we kept him under 24-hour surveillance. 
However, in those two weeks, he did not have any outbursts. None. None whatsoever. No, no. From, from what our staff reports, they've had no issue with him. But what we have noticed is that he becomes catatonic at times. What's that mean? Well, at times he becomes reserved and unresponsive. Now with that and his sudden changes in personality, his auditory hallucinations, the outbursts, there are many answers that can be given here, such as spectrum disorder or schizophrenia. Now, I don't believe that he's developed autism, However, schizophrenia is possible. As of right now, we just don't have enough evidence to come to any kind of definitive conclusion. I'm sorry. How can that possibly be? We just haven't been able to collect enough two, evidence. Two weeks. Two weeks you've had my son here under 24-hour surveillance with the best medical team in the country. Not the country, in the world. And you tell me you can't figure this out? Mr. McDowell, there's a lot No, to... I'm sorry. I saw him throw that plate on the floor. The whole family did, for no apparent reason. And there's a whole arena full of people that saw him have his meltdown. And that poor kid nearly blew out his lungs, screaming in fear, twice. You have the nerve to sit there and tell me you don't think there's anything wrong with him? Well, fuck you. Well, Mr. McDowell, there's only one thing that I can recommend right now. Take Riley home today. Let him continue as he normally would. He's allowed to go to school, to perform his everyday activities. But if he has another episode, record it. I'd recommend on video and on paper. And make sure that what he's doing is noted. Then bring me that information for review because at this time, we just can't trigger his behavior in this environment. I'm sorry. I'll prepare the discharge paperwork. Riley. Hey. Yeah. You okay? I'm tired. I got a headache. You don't look like you slept very well. You're probably happy to be back in your own bed. We're almost home. What was I just doing right now? What? <laughs> Did I fall asleep? So why are we sending him to school to Orleans? He's missed two weeks, Bradley. Any more, he could go to summer school. 
you have everything you need for tomorrow? Yeah. Are you sure? That's a four hour drive. Mom, we'll be fine. We get you into bed and you can eat ice cream and watch movies on your phone for the rest of the night, huh? Come on. You guys pumped for tomorrow? Yeah. All right. Do me a favor. Put that on pause, baby. I want to talk to you. Dad, we can't. It's online. Brad, please. Cold milk biscuit. I'm sorry, man. I just can't do that. You know that. Just do it. Hey, I know we've been focusing a lot of attention on your brother right now. But I, I want to apologize. I'm not going to be able to make it to your big game tomorrow. I missed a lot of work and i got to make it up. Understand? It's fine. No, it's not fine. It's, it's just that we got to keep on our toes right now with him. Didn't we send him away two weeks so he could get better? Yeah, they were supposed to try to figure it out. It wasn't therapy or anything. Hey, listen, I'm going to be rooting for you, even though I'm not there. It's not that. It's just, I want everything to be over with him. It will be soon. We're getting close.
just let me go home if I do this. They have a limit here. Only 400 people are allowed here a day. Now, the reason is because thousands upon thousands of people in modern day come out of their busy lives just to walk the path that people walked hundreds of years ago. And when you're there, and people go there. Well, could you come in here a little quieter? It's already bad enough coming in late being a distraction. Now, where was I? Sorry, Mr. Polo. Sorry, Riley. Still, in the 15th century, it wasn't officially discovered in 1911. One of the seven wonders of the world. Why, you ask? Well, just look at it. It's 8,000 feet above sea level. Now, we here, we're just 141. Now, look at that. That's straight down. That's a 2,000 foot drop. Now, the one thing we do know about the Incas is they were a little behind on technology, meaning they didn't use wheels and they didn't use animals to haul things. So, with that lack of machinery and the obvious steep incline of challenges, the biggest question has always been, how did they build it? How did they get those huge stones all the way up there to Huayna Picchu where the high priest lived? And the second thing, of course, is we know nothing about why it was abandoned. In 1572, it was aliens. Jason, please, don't shout out like that. Well, I mean, just look at Egypt. Oh my God, shut up, you sound retarded. Caitlin, stop it. Jason, realistically, with as little as we know, anything is possible, okay? But the most likely scenario is that when the Spaniards invaded, they brought diseases such as smallpox. Well, if we have no proof then are going off of theories, my theory is that aliens abducted them. Okay, well then we'll just call the crazy haired guy for the geography channel if that's what we're doing now. <clears throat> Listen, where was I? Oh yeah, 1572, the last recorded year of the Incas. Now, as I said, Disease may have wiped them out, okay? But the Spaniards never even got there, okay? They never, just, they just got to their surrounding areas. They couldn't get there because of the steep incline and because of all the other challenges. The Incas were, however, leading in medicine. We'll talk about diseases. They did possibly have access to medicine. That just proves my point. Jason. I mean, if they were so good with medicine and the Spaniards never even reached them, they must have been abducted. Will you chill with the conspiracies? Every week's the same thing with your dumb ass. Hey, Caitlin, how about you go back to the sheep farm with everyone else? Hey, listen, we are about facts here. And the facts do not support aliens. And Jason, 
If you keep shouting out of my class, I am gonna send you to the office. I just don't see how you can teach an unproven theory without accepting others. Okay, that's it. Just get out! Could you just shut up? Riley, what are you doing? That could be breakable. Put it back. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Hi. Um, you remember me from the parade? Um, I'm, I'm Joyce. And this uh, is my son, Riley? Yes, I remember you. Say hello, Riley. Hello. Hi, Riley. We were wondering if you had time to do a... a, a... Oh, yes. Come on this way, of course. Please have a seat. So Joyce, tell me What's going on with Riley and, and why I can do to help? Well, it all started one morning when he didn't come down for breakfast. We called and after a few minutes when he still didn't come down, his dad went up to check and then I heard him yelling that he wasn't in his bed. We thought he was in the house, so we looked everywhere, but when we still couldn't find him, we headed outside. I was in a panic. I had no idea where he was. A neighbor found him in front of their house. He was in a ditch, half unconscious. Oh, can I get you anything? Do you need a water or anything? Continue. What happens next? We took him to the ER, but they couldn't figure anything out, so we brought him home. And after that, things really started getting strange. He kept having these bouts of, of covering his ears and screaming really loudly. Weird things were happening. He threw a plate and he broke it. We all saw him do it, but then the plate was back on the table in one piece. At night, he kicked his brother and his brother said the kick was so hard that he flew across the room. We called the doctor, she came to check him out and she said the same thing was happening to some of her other patients and she recommended that he go to the hospital for two weeks for testing, which we eventually decided to do. But since he's been back, it's been no better. He just threw a textbook at his teacher and he says he never did. And now he's suspended. Riley, do you remember anything about what your mom is talking about? Mm -mm. Do 
you remember why you were covering your ears at the parade? It's the stupid noise. It's so high pitched. It hurts my brain. It comes on and off, but I can never tell when it's gonna happen. Well, I think the best thing for Riley would be hypnotic regression. It's safe. It would help him to remember what happened. And maybe we can figure out why he was in the ditch. It'll help him remember what happened before that as well. Riley, do you think you're okay with hypnosis today? Um, I guess so. Joyce? Please, whatever will help us understand what's going on. Okay, all right. Come this way, okay? Follow me. Come this way. Very sensitive information I'm looking at. Yeah, sorry, doctor. There's a gentleman out here who's like very insistent in seeing you. Who is it? So his name's Arthur McDowell. Okay, send him in. Don't bother. What's going on uh, with Riley, excuse huh? Excuse me, sir. You can't just come in here and bother Dr. Bartlett. I'll do whatever I damn well please. He's my son and I want it's answers. Okay. It's okay. What's going on with Riley? You're going to have to give me a little bit more information than that, Arthur. He was suspended from school for attacking the teacher. I'm sorry to hear that. You said that by sending him away for observation, you'd be able to figure this out. Well, it's been a waste of time. <laughs> we need more time. Not every medical situation has an apparent solution, and they're never the same. I agree. We should have kept him. And if he's becoming violent, then we need to readmit him and keep him for as long as it takes to figure out what's going on. Sarah, you've helped us for many years, and you know I trust you. But I don't want to lock Riley away if I don't know for how long. I'm sorry I came in here the way I did. I just need answers. Arthur, I haven't been completely honest with you. What? What's going on? I have a few questions I'm going to ask you, and I need you to answer them. And when I snap my fingers, that means it's time to wake up. Are you ready? Okay, take a deep breath. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, Riley, I want to bring you back to when your neighbors found you lying in the ditch. Do you remember that? Good. Now I want to take you back further. I want to take you back to that night when you were getting ready for bed and you were falling asleep. Tell me what you remember. Tell me what you remember seeing. Okay. Noise. You woke me up. I can't move. My eyes are open, but I can't move. I'm scared. I'm trying to call for Brad and my dad and my mom, but no noise is coming out of my mouth. You're doing fine, Riley. You're doing just fine. What happens next? 
bright lights. I see the light. Someone's in the room with me. I'm so cold. Why is my bed so cold and hard? Hmm, he's holding my head. Why? Why is he holding my head? No, 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 no. It's okay, Riley, just breathe. You're safe. What do you see around you? Nothing. Just bright lights, blackness. He's not letting me turn my head. Please, no, stop. Stop, please. Stop, stop! Bring him back, then, please! Riley? Riley, I'm gonna bring you back now. I'll bring you back into the room. You're just safe. One, two, three. It's okay, Riley. You too. It happened to you when you were a child. Riley? Wait. Come on, honey, Wait. we're leaving. Come on. Honey, come Look. on. Look, you don't get it. You and Riley are in grave danger right now. They know what just happened. And I don't suggest you being alone with him. It's not safe. Wait. I'm sorry, Arthur. I really am. But there's no way out of it. I'm trapped just as much as Riley. They know what's happening to him and they are very well aware of it. But once they fix it, he's gone. And when they find out I told you, I'm so sorry. There's nothing we can do.
need you to come home right away. It's an emergency. I figured out what's going on with Riley, but, but I'm scared. And, and I need you. I don't know what we should do next, please. Riley needs you. I need you. Just please come home. Come home, Arthur. What's wrong? Uh, where's mom and dad? Inside. Let them hear the noise. What noise? There is no noise! You can't hear that? It's everywhere and anywhere I go, and it pierces through my head. You don't know how lucky you are, Bradley. I would do anything to be you. Fucking psycho!
on. Let me go. Who's there? What are you doing? Let go of me, you bitch! What did you do to me? Transfer's complete. Should we reset? Yes. Send him back.